Hey guys, it's me Komasan. Today, guys, we are going to be watching the new Five Laps at Freddy's trailer that just dropped yesterday. I couldn't make a video about it yesterday because I had other things going on. Yesterday, a trailer dropped for this new FNAF game that is basically FNAF and Mario Kart like combined together. So it's a racing FNAF game, which is crazy to believe. We're gonna watch the trailer. We're gonna look at the stuff on Steam for more info about it. But this demo is coming out on August 7th which is on a Wednesday, and that's only a few days away, so I will be making tons of videos on that. But let's just start off with the video. Okay, we got some, we got some way swords. We got a battery, though. And this is like a FNAF movie, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Click Team. Unreal Engine, so they're not using Click Team's engine for this. They're using Unreal Engine. So we got... Buddy Fazbear driving, you got a gift box, we can see exotic bottles, a bunch of different items you can use. Get ready. The Sheikah, the Spring Trap and Mangle. So we get some icons on the left about them. We got a battery on the right. The waist is on. A lot of stuff going on. There's Bonnie. There's Balloon Boy. There's a bomb. I guess they can throw bombs at people just like Mario Kart. Buddy Fazbear's Pizza, this is from Security Boots. There's a Fuddy Head. This is a pizza, uh, pizza wheel simulator FNAF uh, security breach place. There's a night shift mode. It's like a giant monster chasing the other Keltos. And there's jump scales in this game. This might be the best Five Nights at Freddy's game. Five laps of Freddy's. So there's little boosters on it. Demo available August 7th, 2024 on Steam. So, Steam, go check it out. That was a bunch of stuff. So, I'm going to go frame by frame look at it. So, we got a bomb here. We, it looks like we can hold two items in this game. Because we got a bomb and maybe like a... It looks like a door from FNAF 1. So, I don't know how that's going to work. But the biggest thing I'm curious about this game is this nice shift mechanic. I bet we're going to learn more about it uh, throughout the... Uh, steam page when you look at it but there's a lot of stuff that's going on in this trailer there's uh there's a puppet we got the puppet there's two bonnie so people can play as the same character which is very cool because everybody has a favorite animatronic in mario Kart. i'm pretty sure you can't play as the same character as someone else which is a very disappointing thing to do but it looks like we can i haven't played mario Kart like since the 3ds era so yeah it's been a while but we also got some items we got a cupcake i bet that's just gonna work like a fireball probably maybe just throw it like a normal item. So we got Spring Trap. Spring Trap looks so weird. Like, he looks like he has a Chad face for some reason. I like how every character has a personality with each of those profile pictures. More items. There's a Fazzle Blaster, so we can actually shoot people with that. I'm curious on how all these items work. And it also looks like, based off of Freddy Fazbear right here, we can actually drift in this game, which is awesome. Because drifting makes these types of games very fun and requires a lot of skill to get good at these games so that's very good and like the name suggests there is actually five laps that we're going to be racing around in this game which is awesome to heal so five laps of fuddies five laps the only thing i'm worried about with five laps is how long are these stages going to be because you gotta find a nice balance between long and short between uh racing games and Having stages that last too long can get very tiresome to play, and people might not like the stage and stuff like that. So, that's one of the concerns I have about this game. But overall, I'm liking this. There's like batteries on the food you can pick up and stuff. Present boxes, they give you present. I'm pretty sure the battery fills up this thing on the white, which I'm very curious about because uh, there's not a lot of detail about it. It is exotic bottles and some other stuff. Which I'm very curious on how each item works. But maybe we're going to be seeing that when we play it on Wednesday. I am definitely going to be making a video off this game. But it seems like that's all I'm going to be covering on this trailer. So let's go off to the Steam page. Okay guys, I'm on the Steam page for 5 laps of footy. So we got some sc screenshots of each thing. So we can look at them individually. So let's go to the previous. So this is how much cards we have it looks like there's like one two three four five six seven eight so eight racers probably on once uh i think that's common for racing games i'm not sure uh we got spring shop looking like what is up with his face he looks like he's like he's like mewing right there like what is what is he going like yeah i'm a chat i'm spring trap i'm gonna beat this there's also bonnie 
I don't know. This looks like security boots. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is security boots because uh, the walls and stuff. The textiles look a little bit weird, but it is a beta. So I'm not going to be too harsh on it because they can improve stuff. Apparently, this game is coming out in 2025. So that's like three, four months away between that date. And we don't know exactly this month that it is coming out in 2025. So this could be coming out in like late 2025, early 2025. We honestly don't know. But... This is nice to look. We also got Foxy, so Foxy's here, which is awesome. I also like Chica's cult right there. It's a, it's a cupcake, so that really matches whole. And we got Night Shift, so this is a big mechanic. I'm pretty sure it explains it, but we got the Melly Knight in second place. He's doing good. And this is the Security Breed's uh, Pizza Wea Simulator like, place underneath, you know, with the blob and uh, Born Trap and stuff like that. So basically, that's going to be a map which I find pretty cool because that was a very interesting place in uh security breach so that's very awesome that they actually made a states about that and i'm curious if there's going to be any security breach animatronics because there was some favorites between Roxy and stuff like that so i hope there is some characters that we can play as from security breach we got another stage looks like there's a cave looks like probably the first place not that crazy of a design there was some wall textures that are wheeled over here on the right so like I said previously, there was some things they could adjust. There's also Footy Fazbo. He has some boosters going on, so I'm pretty sure he's drifting or something. And it looks like a road accident that's happening in the front. And now we got the nice shift mechanic. So there's mango and stuff like that. So we got all these mechanics. Uh, there's this thing on uh, Mango's head that I saw in the trailer that appeared over uh, Footy Fazbo's, I think it was, heads. And basically, I think when your battery goes down, a giant endoskeleton will come and attack you. And you have a certain time to, to actually get a battery up or you will get jump scaled and probably be like sent backwards a little bit. So pretty bad. So this game is actually going to have jump scaled, which is crazy. And this is the thing that everybody's talking about. So this is Junior. So if you play uh, Pizzeria Simulator, Junior, there was a big thing with uh, middle, the Middlewest game where you play as William Anthony driving down. There's a little mini game then you actually go down a certain pathway. And basically, you go through this little mini game of some bopping music, and you go to Junior's. So basically, the muscle man you play as is actually William Afton, and it's actually confirmed now. So that's very interesting. But this game has so much attention to detail that there's the, all the cars right over here. Oh, wait, let, let me go back. So all these cars that were actually in this position, they're actually the same colors and everything, just like in Peach Wheel, and just like in Peach Wheel Simulator, which is very crazy and i love the attention and the detail there's also some looks like there's some npcs over there on the left so we got an audience so that's really amazing i'm loving this game this game might be like the, i'm looking forward to, the, to this the most basically and we got the midnight motor so this is william afton's vehicle which basically just conforms that the yellow guy that we play as in the mini game is actually william afton so not surprising but it's very cool also very stylish so we're gonna be finally driving that nice purple car so that's amazing there's also a little spring bonnie thing on uh the back of it which is very funny and there's also some so there's gonna be different vehicles it seems that have different stats and stuff like that so it's gonna be interesting to see if characters have stats and stuff or like you can mix and match basically just like in mario kart you can do that but it's gonna be very very interesting so we got the Freddy fast pizza place we got a walk it right here as balloon boy so this is the same map as the Freddy head, so this is still security breach, the pizza we used to map, so very awesome, looks very cool, looks very scary too. And we got some stages, so apparently this game is going to be having like 16 stages, which is a lot for this game, which I'm surprised it's going to even have that much, so that's very interesting. So we got Fastbell Hills, Midnight, Midnight Motorist, which we can finally play that mini game as a racing track, so it's going to be pretty cool, and the scene core. So, we got three different stages, which is pretty cool, and there's difficulty options, which is awesome to tell people how difficult these stages are going to be. And it looks like there's a hazard thing on the top right, so that's very, very interesting. We got Bonnie, Marionette, and Foxy just on a stage. This is, this looks like uh, uh, the, uh, Scott's old FNAF, like not even a FNAF game, his game that got criticized, like uh, I forgot what it's called, uh, Tykin and Co. or something like that. It's what it looks like basically with that cabin. It could just be me, but th that's what I think about it when I see that. And we got some characters. They look very unique. So we got Foxy, his main thing on here with a class system right underneath his name, which is very interesting. So 
These are very cool looking windows of each of the characters. They have so much personality, which I love. I love when, like, when Security Breach actually came out, I love how much personality they gave the animatronics. I'm glad that the older animatronics are getting their own personalities now. Especially with this game, which is very awesome. So people can play as their favorite animatronics and stuff like that. So very interesting. So we got Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Marionette, and we got Lo uh, not a little bit a Mango. So very interesting. That's all the screenshots, surprisingly. So the release date is coming out 2025. Like we don't know exact month, but yeah. So the demo is coming out on August 7, 2024. Welcome to F Five Laps of Freddy's, the premier animatronic cut racing. So, okay, featuring your favorite and lovable Freddy Fazbear and with friends, sponsored by Fazbear Entertainment. So, this game, I'm pretty sure, is a in-game universe FNAF game, just like how Help Wanted is an in-universe game as well. So, this could imply some future lore if there was lore in the game and stuff. If you saw that transition, that was pretty cool. But, a lot of things that are very cool. Select one of your 12 of your favorite FNAF animatronics. And waste on 16 tracks set across four cups. Each track is based on your favorite locations from Five Nights at Freddy's lore, including Fazbear Hills and Midnight Motorist and more. Starting out on a day shift, a safe place you'll complete the first place, but, but make sure to manage your cards, battery paddle, use too much, or you take too many hits, and you might end up on a night shift where you not only have to worry about winning, you also have to avoid an angry endoskeleton who's on the hunt for you. So if you get hit multiple times or you're doing pretty bad, you're gonna be sent to the night shift, and that could Basically, you have to do with a giant boss fight, basically. While navigating the tracks, find birthday presents where it contains items to help you reach number one. Everything from the Faz Blaster to the Cupcake Boost. Each item in each has a power-up mode, so you dare to whisk some of that precious battery power. You also find glitched power-ups so that can increase your battery size and your maximum speed, so long you don't get hit and lose some of them again. So basically, we can boost our power-ups with some of our battery to give us an edge in combat. Or in wasting, not combat. But there's a certain whisk to that. So I like this game mechanic of high whisk, high reward type of system, which is awesome. But that seems like there's awful information. There's also says, please note, Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for road rash, broken bones, death, and or dismemberment. Please drive safely. So that is all the information. And just by FYI, guys, this game is having split screen PvP. So if you have a friend or if you have a sibling, you can play with that. I'm probably going to make a video of me and my twin playing this together, which is going to be amazing. But that's all the information we have on Five Laps of Freddy's. This game's honestly looking like one of the best games that have happened in a while since, like, uh, Help on 2, because I really like this. This game looks pretty awesome, and I'm a big fan of it already. There are some improvements that need to happen, but that's with any game. But, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. But if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and if you do, press the notification bell, and I will see you guys next time.